All right. Represent family bird. <laughs> now, I hope the internet is actually good enough in this area because it's been kind of weird. But it doesn't seem to be dropping. Uh, oh, we got a few people already popping in. Hopefully this works. Let's see, we'll find out in a minute. Huh, weird, it's only showing uh, one person, which is me. <laughs> oh, we got four. Nobody in the chat yet. Excuse me while I uh, lay to smoke. Hello from Holland, there we go. Let me know, those of you just joining us, how the, uh, the quality is. I don't know if the uh, 5G is okay over here. Hello, hello, we got a bunch of people popping in now. Also from Holland. We got uh, Holland Squared. <clears throat> made it from Wasega Beach. Yes, I have made it. And uh, I am currently in Taiwan. I'm actually just uh, sitting on the street right now. Just chilling. Got uh, hello from Miami. We got uh, from ZL, I'm guessing that's maybe New Zealand, I don't know. <laughs> South Africa, Louisiana, quality is good, perfect, good to know. Ohio, LA, damn, all y'all from all over the place, from good old Canada. Got Alabama, got uh, Alberta, <laughs> North Carolina, Washington State. Always got to be specific. You don't want none of those Washington DCers in here. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I actually met a really cool guy from uh, Washington DC uh, the other day in Japan. Really, really cool dude. Moved out to Osaka. Loving it out there. But uh, yeah, for those of you just popping in, we have made it to Taiwan. Um, currently just sitting on a random stoop I guess we'll call it curb also I really need to shave I have a problem I broke my shaver or trimmer whatever it's called and uh, I have not had any luck buying a new one actually I have a funny story about that um, so in Japan they have a lot of these weird stores um, let me make sure the volumes all the way up here there we go um, but yeah I was trying to buy a razor shaver whatever like electronic trimmer if you will from this uh, tax-free store and uh, couldn't buy it because I didn't bring my passport with me because I always leave it at the hotel and uh, apparently you need that to buy from the tax-free store which is kind of weird but okay loving your travel vlogs thank you I'm really enjoying making them it's cool. I like doing, uh, I'm, I'm very content with doing um, like a mix of different stuff kind of in between like the haunted and all the craziness that we encounter. Um, we actually just got back. I'm here with Steve Roden. He's currently just getting a, a massage. Um, should be back probably soon, but uh, we basically just came from a night market, which is a very popular thing here in Taiwan. Very cool. A lot of street food. Um, very, very high quality stuff, too. So cheap. Like, you can eat... I think we literally ate, like, stuffed for, like, $8. Trying a whole bunch of different things. Loving your travel videos. I'm glad. Yeah, we do have another country already planned after this one. It is booked. Um... Should I tell you what it is, or should I keep it a secret? I don't know. Love the variety of videos on both channels. I'm glad. 
Yeah, and because of you guys, actually, the uh, the Japanese forest video is doing uh, really, really well. I'm uh, I'm pleased with the results so far. So that's cool. Uh, do we see a new shirt? No, it's the same old uh, brave shirt. I guess it's kind of new. Thailand? Not yet. Uh, I'm still planning on going to Thailand, but uh, we ended up deciding on a few locations before that. Do you all really want to know? You want to know where we're going? So it's really cool. I never thought in my wildest dreams I would have ended up in this place, but yeah, we're going to uh, not Africa. It is in Asia, not Africa. I think it's considered Southeast Asia, I think. Love that you get to travel. Me too. It's always been my dream. <clears throat> you look like a crazy person, like a tweaker. <laughs> There's a held comment for some reason. I know, I'm just literally sitting here on a street corner. Yeah, I'm just waiting for some of y'all to pop in. I'll probably go for a little, uh, little walk around the neighborhood here. Vietnam? No, not Vietnam. Um, it's actually Bali. Uh, I think that's... Bali is considered Indonesia, I think, right? I believe it's Indonesia, or is it Malaysia? I don't even know. <laughs> it's somewhere around that area. It's close to... They're both close to each other. About to have a smoke with you. <laughs> Sounds good. Indonesia, yes. I'm going to be going there after this. Uh, we're going to be here in Taiwan for the next six days. It already feels like it's flying by, um, as it kind of is. But uh, we got a lot of stuff planned here in the next six days, like jam-packed schedule. We were going to go on a crazy road trip, but the plans kind of fell through on that end, so we kind of altered our plans. Um, but we got some cool stuff we're going to be doing. We're actually going to go to a haunted hotel tomorrow, I think. And then this cool, like, historic village. Uh, Yana Yana said, yes, Indonesia, so glad you took my suggestion. Um, basically, the way it, it kind of, like, worked out in this weird way, because Steve had to go there anyways to take care of something. Um, and then I'm like, you know what? They got cool beaches in Bali. I think I might just go. And it's like, it's not very expensive, so it, it should be pretty fun. Cool uh, new area to explore, just like here in Taiwan, I've never been here before, so it's, uh, it's quite the culture shock. So what do you guys say we go on a little, uh, little adventure here? I got my uh, Japanese beer, we'll roam around the uh, random streets here of Taiwan. <laughs> But uh, yeah, here's kind of, uh, oops, I clicked something here. What the heck did I just do? That's not what I meant to do. But uh, yeah, this is kind of uh, our area here. Pretty cool. And it's kind of funny because we have two convenience stores. We have Family Mart and then we have 7-Eleven directly next to each other. There are some awesome food places. Actually, you know what? I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys where we ate last night because this was amazing probably one of the best food places I've had so far on this trip it's a little dark down here but um, just down this way it's funny too there's like a hair salon up there it's closed now but these are actually all clothing stores it's just late now it's like 12 o'clock at night um, ah, damn we might not actually be able to even see the restaurant just realized that but let's go anyway so I know I'm probably a little uh, dark right now. I know there's a lot of graffiti here too, but everywhere here is very, very safe. Until we get jumped. <laughs> yeah, I think it's closed actually. Damn, I wanted you guys to see this. Shoot, I don't even remember which one it was, but it was really cool. It was, um, they had like a mixture of different meats. So we had uh, some Wagyu, uh, some short ribs, um, a couple other things, and it always seems like very small portions until you actually eat it all, and then you realize, okay, I'm good. <laughs> it 
And it's cool too because they put like this um, charcoal grill thing. Well, it's like a like a pot. And they put a bunch of charcoals in it, and they cook it literally right in front of you, and serve it right to you. So good. I kind of wish I had recorded it, but we probably will end up back there before we leave, and then I'll record it again because awesome experience. Just like the street food tonight, amazing. It's so fun, like experiencing different cultures. It's like there's a cool little place. Actually, there's like a nice little park that I haven't had a chance to check out yet. Let's go down this way. Um, so glad you're vlogging. Right now we're live streaming. This is uh, live 12, I think it's like 12 o'clock at night here in Taipei. So it's funny, earlier, uh, <laughs> at some point, I was out grabbing something from the store down there, and I came back to the Airbnb, which is in this area, and uh, this is cool, actually. Take a look at this. Hang on. You see a lot of, like, charming little things everywhere. Also got to watch out for people on scooters. <laughs> um, damn, it's so loud over here. Let's try not to get hit by anything. All right, let's go walk into the park. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I came down, I was grabbing something from the convenience store, and uh, I get back in, and Steve's like, yo! I'm like, what? He's like, did you feel that earthquake? I'm like, what earthquake? I didn't notice a, a single thing. He's like, I swear the whole building shook. But it's like super common here, so I don't know if it was an earthquake or maybe just a passing truck or something but uh, we're about to go into this uh looks like a park it actually might not be a park at all <laughs> i might just be completely mistaken oh dude what okay so i've been looking for a shoe store hang on a second and i think we just found two so we found keds but those are like flats i don't want flats because i need shoes like these are they i put a lot of miles on these they're uh they're okay but they're kind of like flattened out now but there's an asics right here what the hell i gotta come here maybe tomorrow before we uh head out to go film yeah they must have running shoes and stuff all right sick i knew i'd find running shoes in uh, taiwan <laughs> perfect and they're probably cheaper too all right let's uh shoot that's not a park at all that's like an island. I thought it was a park. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. I mean, we could probably like... No, I can't even really walk through there. Damn. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, I guess we'll turn back down one of the side streets here. Get some good shoes. I, I try to get good shoes, but because I do so much walking and hiking, um, they tend to wear out pretty damn quick so I mean as we're doing right now we're going for a little uh, little walk but it's beautiful here man the weather is perfect right now believe it or not it is like it's probably 75 but it feels like it's 85 because of the humidity Crazy. How are you? How are you? Enjoys your trip? It is fantastic so far. Lori said I was going to say Bali. Yeah, honestly, it was not on my list at first of places to do. Um, like I said, it was because of a suggestion. Well, not really a suggestion, but it just kind of like worked out that way. Because um, Steve's got to go there anyway, etc., etc., and uh, might as well just fly there. He's going to be busy for a few days, so I'm going to be doing my own thing. But then after that, he's uh, once he's done, we'll be filming like a whole bunch of cool spots nearby. Should be interesting. Never been to Indonesia. I figured eventually one day, but uh, and I did meet someone from there. The only problem is for some reason. Once I got to Japan, I know it's a little bit loud, like passing motorcycles and stuff, but um, yeah, once once I got to Japan, for some reason, my phone is just like doing this weird malfunction where it decided to erase everyone's name from their number in my phone. I have no idea why. <laughs> Strangest thing. Um, 
So me trying to search the person's name, and I think it was, it was either Brandon, either spelled with an O or an E, I'm not sure, uh, or Brayden, or something along those lines. I don't know what other possibilities along those lines it could have been. Brayden? Brandon? I don't know. I I'm pretty sure it was Brandon. No idea, but so odd. So whenever anybody texts me, it literally just shows the phone number. <laughs> so I have to like go through previous conversations just to figure out um, who I'm even talking to. But yeah, all right, we're coming back around to uh, Family Mart. I'm trying, I don't even know like where I'm going. Uh, maybe we'll turn right. See where the heck we end up here. Can you surf there? I have no idea. I don't surf. Never done it. Maybe one day I'll try it. Not a clue. This looks like a little cafe, I think, of sorts. Really cool. I love the little shops here. They're amazing. And uh, so yesterday for lunch, we ended up going to, I don't remember which direction it was. Um, let's actually see if Steve is uh, still at the spa. I'm sure he is. But yeah, we went to uh, lunch yesterday, somewhere around here, and uh, there was, it's like a little tiny hole in the wall. So busy. We literally had to wait like 25 minutes before they could serve us. And it's just two people behind the line, just cooking a bunch of stuff. It was like cut, uh, pork cutlets, uh, rice, sausage, spinach, beans, and um, honestly, some of the best food I've ever had. And it was like $4.50 US for the whole meal. And Steve's was even less. I just, of course, had to try everything. So I ordered the cutlet and the sausage and the spinach and the the cabbage and <laughs> all the stuff, <laughs> all the foods. <sighs> Mary says, hello, good to see you. Good to see you too. Mary, hello, hello. Got lots of people still uh, popping in. Uh, where was the spa that Steve went to? Look at the 7-Eleven here. This is so funny. They have this, uh, they're really small, um, but they have this, this thing here, you can hardly see it behind the bush. There we go. <laughs> so funny. Uh, I don't see Steve anywhere yet. You know what I should do? I just thought about it. I should start putting my beer in my canteen so it stays cold. Because they definitely don't stay uh, cold here. This is the spa. This is where Steve is right now. Getting a massage. Cool spot. It's actually really nice in there. Let's walk. Let's go to this main road and see see what we find <clears throat> uh, doesn't look like too many people there at night not right now uh, yesterday night they usually come out kind of early so um, I've noticed that like the trend is because I've actually already been here about a day and a half um, so People usually come out between like 8 and 10 p.m. And then everything kind of closes. So, you know, it's not like super, super busy. I was just trying not to get lost, but it was uh, quite busy in this area earlier. There's like some random restaurant down there. There's kind of like things all over the place. Lots to do. Earlier we went to this amazing... Uh, Buddhist temple, coolest freaking temple I've ever seen, like 300 years old, and uh, crazy history to it as well. So I do have a video for the main channel today, um, so basically after this I will 
publish that. It's kind of like, so basically I went to this abandoned and haunted shrine in Japan and this video is going to be kind of like the prequel to that, like me kind of getting there or before getting there at the very least. Got a bunch of other uh, restaurants here, it's uh, Shabu Shabu. Looks pretty fancy in there actually. I'm not going to lie, they got a lot of like really nice restaurants. Pork slices, oh it's pretty cheap actually. Uh, chicken legs, pork herb, U.S. snowflake beef set. I don't even know what that means, but okay. Oh, it's another uh, hot pot place, I think. I think that's what this is. Damn, this one's way cheaper than where we went. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit cheaper, I think. Deluxe twin set. Hmm, maybe, uh, maybe we'll have to try that one. <laughs> we went to one, and honestly, it was amazing. Uh, basically hot pot is like they literally bring you a hot pot put it in between you uh, boil your vegetables and then they start bringing you an assortment of meats uh, beef is what we had uh, and a lot of seafood so oh, this is cool nice yeah lots of cool little uh, places around here Alrighty, you know what I'm going to do, just so I don't get lost? Uh, I'm going to turn around and start heading back. Just getting my steps in, you know? Are you in Taiwan? Yes, I am. Been here for about two and a half days now. We already filmed a full abandoned video. Really, really cool place. Damn, it's so loud here. <laughs> uh, and then today we kind of chilled out. I'm trying to get a little caught up with editing. I want to get ahead so that way I have like content ready to go on the fly. Because um, I got a bunch of sponsors I got to work with. The time difference makes it a little bit difficult. Uh, but we're getting there. We're getting caught up. But uh, and then yeah, today I went to the, the Buddhist temple. We went to a mall, uh, which I vlogged as well. And uh, it was cool, man. They had so many electronics. I've never seen such an array of um, electronics in one place. Uh, how was it after the earthquake? Honestly, everything's fine. I haven't seen anything like no, no debris. Um, we've driven around to, like a couple different areas around Taipei. Haven't really seen anything. Like no destruction, nothing like that. So that's good. But yeah, Taiwan, honestly, such a cool place. So much character. Can't wait to see your Taiwan videos. They're cool, man. The, uh, the abandoned video we filmed so far, uh, the stuff we filmed tonight, which part of it is going to be combined with the abandoned video, the temple, will actually be the beginning of the uh, abandoned area. I just thought it was kind of cool to mix like vlog and, you know, kind of creepy location. And the weird part about the abandoned place is we don't know if it's haunted or not because we were hearing noises. Steve was hearing like girls talking. There was no one around. Um, or maybe somebody was in there. I have no idea. We didn't see a single person. But one thing here that takes getting used to is the uh, the smell of tofu. Um, they use like a special bean, and the beans stink. <laughs> like it's not not a very good appealing smell. So you think it's like some nasty thing, like almost like sewage or something, but it's literally just part of the food. It's the wildest thing. Like, damn, it smells like ass, <laughs> but it's not. And it's pretty clean. Like, I mean, there's the one store that's, like, kind of got, like, some clutter, but, like, the streets are clean. The stores are clean. There's, like, a lot of stickers and stuff, but that's cool. That kind of, like, adds character. There's a lot of graffiti in certain spots. But apart from that, like, pretty, pretty spotless, if you ask me. All right, we're back at Family Mart. Let me just uh, pop a squat here. 
Jeez. Almost fell over there. I swear I'm not drunk. This is literally my first beer of the day and I'm barely a uh, third of the way through. <sighs> looks clean. Yeah, I mean, it looks cleaner than some areas back in North America that I've seen, that's for sure. <clears throat> Are you going to do any content with Brad at all? Does not seem to be himself. Uh, probably not, to be honest with you. Um, unfortunately, Brad's going through a little bit of a hard time. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. It's kind of like his business. I don't really want to go into too much detail, but uh, yeah, he's been having some, some issues. There's not really much I can do about it being on the other side of the planet, to be honest with you. I try and keep up with everybody, but, you know, called Chad the other day, he's doing okay. It's hard, we can support people, but at the end of the day, they are, uh, everybody's kind of an adult too, right? So, I mean, people have to kind of make their own decisions. Um, what food have you tried so far in Taiwan? Uh, so like I said, we did hot pot, and we did some barbecue last night and then tonight we went to a night market which we filmed um so that's cool because it's like kind of unique to this region and what did we try we tried this like sausage we thought it was like in a bun but the bun as it turns out is like it's so weird it's like compacted rice that looks like a bun but it's not it's so good Do you want to walk back or? <coughs> But uh, what else did we try? Um, tried something else. I'm just trying to remember what it was. The hot pot thing was yesterday. No, the first night. Um, we tried something else out at the street market. Tried uh, tea. It was uh, I think it was oolong and black tea. Not bad. Not really my thing. Um, but pretty decent though. And it was really cheap. It was like less than one dollar US for like a full size cup. We did try something else. Why can't I think? Oh, we tried Taiwanese pizza. <laughs> it was actually amazing. Holy. Oolong is decaf. To be honest, I don't even really know what oolong is. But we just kind of asked her. It was funny because it was like the cheapest thing on the menu. Um, but we asked her. I probably should have got something like fruity. Um, but I'm going to try some other bubble tea once I find a, like, a good place. Maybe tomorrow before we leave. Um, but I don't really eat, or sorry, drink, like, sugary stuff, but I will try, like, a couple different things. I mean, we're here, so we have to try things. Are you allowed to drink alcohol on the street? Yes, I am. <laughs> so, here, um, like Japan, you are legally allowed to openly drink alcohol on the street, public areas, the only thing is, is, it is illegal to be publicly intoxicated. So you would have to visibly be obviously intoxicated. <clears throat> I love trying new things, but my IBS does not. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> Is Jasco with me? No, Jazz is, I assume, back home. Because he's boring. <laughs> Does the beer taste like Japan beer there? Um, no. Japanese beer is better. <laughs> I've tried, like, I think two Taiwanese beers. Um, I tried one here at the Family Mart, and then literally next door is the 7-Eleven. They had a couple different ones. I tried them all. They're not bad. Um, they don't taste like, you know, goat piss, so that's good, but it's super cheap, like a dollar, I think it was a dollar and 18 cents Canadian for one single beer, like one can of beer at the store. Um, this is actually Japanese beer, very popular from Japan, and uh, kind of become my go-to.
I love how when they open the doors here, this music plays. It's like the funniest thing ever. Not everyone likes boozy drinks and that's okay. Absolutely. <clears throat> some people do, some people do not. You should go to Korea next. Uh, I've been thinking about it, but I'm heading more towards like southeast. Bali is actually where I'm going to be going next. And then, um, you know what? I don't even want to spoil it yet. Because it's not confirmed, so I'm not going to say it. But, uh, yeah, we're thinking of another spot after that, which will end up being like just a couple days. Because um, there's something really cool to film in a very specific area. Bali is awesome. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be like a mix of like a workation. Um, you know, because we got beautiful weather, palm trees, beaches. So it should be really cool. Uh, please FaceTime Mo while in Taiwan and vlog it. Maybe. We'll see. He's busy. He's like, uh, he's on a trip right now. He's in uh, near Toronto with uh, Carlo, uh, Moshi. Have you met up with Steve yet? Yes. Uh, he is currently at the spa, unless he's gone back to the Airbnb. I'm actually not sure. But I'm going to assume once he's done. Let me see what time it is. Hang on. 12.45. Yeah, he's probably still there. If he's finishing up now, we'll literally see him walk right past here. Uh, Mo is busy as you are. Yes, of course. He's uh, probably busier than me. I mean, he's got uh, a wife and two kids. <laughs> what do I got? I got you guys. <laughs> and a mother. <laughs> guys saying UK plans not yet um, we'll actually see maybe in the summer because um, I wouldn't want to go there when it's cold I know it's like kind of gloomy during like you know fall winter spring so we'll see I don't I don't know yet honestly like my plans currently are basically a week at a time <laughs> so I only know what I'm doing basically up to next week and then my plans can change like this fast are you going to play some rando while you are there i don't know honestly i'm not sure if i'm even going to have the time because we already have a lot of like locations planned for filming um so i i don't know i've been thinking about it but i just haven't i haven't tried it yet i honestly have not used that app in in quite some time uh what time is it here it is approximately quarter to one in the morning it is, in fact, nighttime. <laughs> so a lot of you guys are probably uh, either middle of the day or morning or whatever. <clears throat> Rando might be pretty creepy out there. Yeah, probably. When will you be coming to Texas? I have no idea. I love Texas, though. Texas is awesome. I really want to do um, like a West Coast drive to the West Coast from, from Canada, but like in summertime. That would be amazing. But the problem is, like, I kind of have plans to go to um, Europe uh, in the summertime. Looking at, like, probably July, August. So, if that's the case, the schedule is uh, pretty full. And if I come to Europe, I'm not going to come there for a week. I'm going to go for, like, a month, month and a half, maybe two months. Oh, crap. And I'm drinking a beer. <laughs> Uh, I'm 12 hours from your time. 12.48 p.m. here. Yes. Yeah, most of, uh, most of America is, I mean, East Coast anyways, is like 12 hours behind where I am right now. Mm -mm. No Bali wife because he stays there and we want to see him travel. <laughs> have you ever been to brazil no i was uh close actually to going to brazil but um that would have been a long time ago and i wasn't filming youtube so we were thinking of going when was it 2014 i think i believe it was 2014 whenever the world cup was there we were thinking of going but never ended up going
Well, in defense, I just did yard work. Yep. It is good to see you uh, on Chaz's live. Yeah, I saw he was live last night, uh, which was funny because it was literally 4 o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I saw he was live. I figured I might as well pop in, say hello. It's been a while since I've seen him. Christy says, how are you doing? I am good. I think a trip to Rio would be cool. Yes. Brazil would actually be, like, really interesting. Going to, like, document, like, the favelas and stuff like that. Probably a little risky, but... Uh, why are you live? Because I felt like it. Hello from Newfoundland. Shout out to Newfoundland. Is it still cool there? I kind of said that in a weird because I wasn't sure if I was going to say cool or cold. So I kind of said cooled <laughs> at the same time. But then again, we all know Newfies have uh, a made up language. Just a reminder, do not be disrespectful in the chat. Yes, please. We do have moderators. They gave some people some uh, some upgrades, <laughs> some responsibilities, so I don't have to do it on my own. It's always cold there, lol. Well, not always. I imagine during the summer it's probably nice, but they're a little bit more north, so it's probably a little cooler. It's cooled. You know what I mean? Uh, Doobie got hot with so much water and rain. Sacred Heart says, made it. Yay. Congratulations. Welcome. I'm not going to be live too long, maybe like another 10 minutes or so. But, uh, have you ever traveled to Tucson? I think that said Tucson. Yes, I have been to Tucson, Arizona multiple times. I think the first time I went there, we stayed... Uh, how long did we stay? I think like three days or something like that. I purposely stayed there because it was warmer. <laughs> I think it was like November or December or something like that. <laughs> they must get sick of the jingle at Family Mart because I am. I know, right? It is kind of annoying after a while, but they have like a, a, like a concrete ledge <laughs> that I'm kind of sitting on. Ugh. I guess I'll move over here so I'm not right in front of the door because I'm going to smoke another cigarette before I go inside. Um, I don't even know if Steve is back yet. Should probably be back soon because I've been live with you guys for 40 minutes. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he's uh, probably almost done. Uh, no plan for visiting Quebec this summer. Our big project in USA or other... Sorry, I missed the rest of that. Other place in Canada. Um, I want to go to East Coast, Canada. Sorry, I know this is a really weird angle. Just give me a second. But yeah, I know I want to do East Coast. Um, like Nova Scotia, maybe even Newfoundland. Um, cause I've never been to Newfoundland, so I want to go and experience the cooled. <laughs> uh, that's going to be my new word from now on. Hotel room tour. Um, I'll probably include it in the vlog. It's actually an Airbnb. It's really cool. It's a three bedroom apartment house. I don't even know what you would call it, but, um, yeah, I'll, in I'll actually vlog it. I was thinking about that earlier. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a cool spot. It's pretty cheap, actually. It's working out to, I think for the two of us, like $86 a night US. So split, it's not bad, like 40 bucks a night. Um, yeah. Melissa with the super chat. Wow, geez, thank you. Um, I have to head off to work now, but I hope you can use this on your trip. Thank you, very much appreciated. Wow, well, have fun at work. Try not to work too hard. 
Um, but yeah, I will, uh, like I said, I will show you the, the house here in uh, Taiwan. We're actually going to be staying in the same place, I think, for the duration of the trip. Because we were supposed to leave town, but we decided, uh, you know what, let's just stay here because there's plenty to do anyway. And then if we want to, we can always come back if we really, really need to. Ban on cigarettes in the UK? Why? <laughs> it doesn't, don't like a lot of people smoke there? That's kind of weird. What is that going to accomplish? Then you're just going to have contraband cigarettes everywhere. It's just like guns. You can ban guns, but people are still going to get illegal guns. Trust me, I'm from Canada. Annette Ward, I finally caught a live stream. Welcome. You caught it almost at the end, but uh, I'm still here. Um, somebody's saying, how old are you? I am 33. For some reason in my head, I was about to say 50. I don't know why. Maybe because I feel 50 <laughs> at the moment. No, I actually feel pretty good. Um, I don't know. I just feel like really up lately. Like really, really good. I feel like I'm doing what I want. Um, things are good. I have all of you guys, which is incredible. Um, never in my wildest dreams could I have imagined to be where I am. And I'm super thankful. I feel blessed every single day. I was even telling Steve the other day, um, or not the other day, earlier today, because we were talking, um, and I was kind of thinking about it, and I'm like, you know what? Lately, I feel so much less stressed. Like, there's still stresses, because, like, I'm trying to get videos out, and I'm trying to focus on filming certain things that I really want to get done. Don't want to miss certain things, right? Um, but, like, lately, I think my not giving a fuck attitude has kind of heightened hence why we're doing like kind of you know in moderation slightly different content even on the main channel it's not just straight up one thing or the other it's like a good mix and uh i'm happy with like the way the content is coming out i'm even learning new things i got new programs new cameras um even steve is teaching me a few different things um which is great to collab because you learn like how to use different technology and stuff like that because he's like really good when it comes to cinematics like ronin is literally the ronin okay um but even apart from that like um i feel like religion is really really helping positivity wise like i have my bible app read it every day um even i get like the day even if i don't have a chance to read it that day I still got my daily Bible verse, which is fantastic. If you're not religious, that's fine too. Um, but I just feel like it helps a lot. But for me, um, yeah. Do you have a partner? No, I do not. I am currently single. Um, single, ready to mingle. Uh, but when it happens, it happens. Um, what I'm thinking is like, I have a, there's, there's a process going on in my head right now. Basically, when I get home, most likely applying for... Uh, a visa to move to the United States and then I guess at that point I'll start looking for girlfriends you know potential wife I don't know I'm gonna be 30 on the 20th of August wow not too far off trust me once you get to 30 it's all downhill from there no I'm joking <laughs> no 30 in your 30s it's it's good things are uh, things are really good awesome the word is food for your soul absolutely yeah, when I was home, I was uh, I was going to church every weekend with uh, with my friend Mike. Uh, but unfortunately, Mike has decided to move away from me. He ditched me. <laughs> he is uh, somewhere in southern Ontario now, but in, I think he's about an hour away from me. So we were supposed to get together before I left, but unfortunately, he got sick. But once I get home, uh, me, Mike, and my good friend Anthony will all get together. Hang out. Uh, do you like New Yorker women? Sure, I guess. <laughs> I guess it depends on the attitude. Uh, you know, certain beliefs are, are important to me. Uh, Rosemary Young is asking, how is Taiwan? Taiwan is awesome. Um, yeah, we're having a, a really good time. Uh, tomorrow we're definitely ran. We've been kind of slow, slow to get started. We did one abandoned location yesterday, which uh, it has like this crazy story to it. It's actually an, a gym facility. It was like a, a very high-end gym facility. We're, we're talking people uh, paid 17000 to have a 
um, lifetime membership and then essentially got, Steve described it as a pull rug, like the owner just kind of up and left. Uh, will you be doing any abandoned stuff on this trip? Yes. Uh, we were we were actually talking about doing a hospital tonight, but kind of figured it was getting late. We were doing like the street market, temple, uh, a little bit of running around. Um, so we kind of like pre-exhausted ourselves, if you will. Plus I had to come back. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead in editing. I want to edit one more video tonight before I go to sleep. And then tomorrow is when we really start um, grinding again. So yeah. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. I think we're doing like a haunted, abandoned hotel or something like that tomorrow. So that should be cool. You should come to Vancouver Island because can uh, BC, Canada. Uh, have I been to? I've been to Vancouver. Or is Vancouver Island different from Vancouver? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> the geography out there confuses me. Well, I've been once. We went to Vancouver. We went to uh, Whistler. Uh, that was pretty much it. I'd love to go back during the summer. Vancouver, in my opinion, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it too much. There wasn't like a whole lot of stuff to do. Um, but up in the mountains, really freaking cool. Who are you there with? I am currently here with uh, Steve Ronan. He went to the spa to get a uh, PP massage. No, I'm joking, just a regular massage, no PP massage. Um, but yeah, he went for a massage. And I'm guessing he's not done yet. Maybe he was liking it so much, he's like, add on another 60 minutes <laughs> or something. I have no idea. Um, you are brave all alone there. Love watching. Stay safe. I'm actually not alone. I'm with Steve Roden. So, uh, are you in Taiwan now? Yes, I am currently in Taipei, which is a really big city, by the way. Hey, there he is. What's up, sexy? What's up, big sexy? How was your pee-pee massage? Dude, that's actually one of the best massages I've <laughs> ever had. Bro, I highly recommend you go to it. Okay, before we leave, we're gonna go for his and his massages. Dude, she was like, standing. No way, yeah, really? Yeah, like, there was like these handles on okay, the Okay, okay. She literally massaging the <laughs> it, it was so nice. Everybody is saying hello, Steve. Hey, guys. <laughs> What's up, Angelo Gang? Like, Angelo you have a name Gang. For your viewers? Not really, no. I need a name for you my. Do. Okay, I got it. I know it because the merch is called Brave Merch now, so it's the Brave Gang. How's that? The Brave Gang. Is that cool? Did you guys, you guys like that? I don't know. <laughs> Does okay. it work? Yeah. What is your? Well, your yours is the Ronin fam or whatever, the, right? The Ronins. The Ronins. And Ronin That's Hardy. a cool name, but it's already taken. Yeah, you can't take that. Yeah, I can't take it now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna name my. Okay, we're officially renaming my channel to Angelo Ronin. <laughs> no. No, no, Steve's no. face right no. now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got a super sticker from uh, Dink 182J. Cool. Oh, thank you. Uh, hang on. Whoop! I clicked something by accident. I have been out here. Well, I've been on live for 48 minutes, so yeah, I kind of roamed around a little bit, just, you know, put in my daily steps, Yeah. and uh, yeah, just been chilling. So what else did they do? Did they like flip upside down or do like some circus tricks in there? And it was cheap too, right? Yeah, it was $40 for one hour. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, back home I think it would be a lot more than that, but uh, yeah, no, the, cool. The quality was really nice. Their facility was... It was good? Yeah, it was... Yeah, really good. Top tier facility. Everything's good here pretty much in Taiwan. I don't yeah. think I've really seen like a dumpy kind of place, but I was talking to um, Roki Sun, uh, which was the owner of the cigar bar back in Osaka, and he was telling he like suggested a whole bunch of places. If we happen to be in that area, then we'll probably try it. I think it's something called Lolo Fun or something like that. What, here in Taiwan? Yeah. It's like a a famous thing here. Why did I it sounds so familiar. Maybe you tried it. Is that a food spot? It's like a, it's, that's not the name of it, that's what the food is called. So, mm. he, what is it, like noodles? I don't even remember anymore. It's like pork, like a pork okay. pancake type of thing. Um, I think, I believe that's what it is. Um, but yeah, he's like, uh, if the place no ditty, it's no good. 
<laughs> so, I don't know. He would come here with his wife, and his wife would go, I think, get a massage or shop or whatever. And then he'd be like, okay, I'm going to eat my uh, my food that I came here for. <laughs> yeah, that feels so good. Yeah? That massage was amazing. Whoa. You said, like, my entire body was really tight. Yeah? Your body was tight? I don't blame her because... Uh... Cause carry, you're, like a heavy bag yeah like, dude so, so that much. like you guys don't understand like we carry so much heavy equipment with us um that like my bag it's funny because i just weighed my backpack when yeah. it was completely stuffed at the airport was i think f over 14 kilos yeah. so that's 14 kilos times 2.2 roughly about 30 pounds well dude like for the longest time of, yeah like filming and traveling I had a way bigger backpack. I yeah. think you've seen me with a bigger backpack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like freaking like it, 30 it to 50 pounds. Yeah. And I would carry that around while filming it's, all the it's, time. Uh, but now I have a lighter setup. Like I've switched right. to like smaller cameras, right, smaller right, lenses. Yeah, because yeah, it was just too much. Yeah, I just, I bring way too much stuff with me sometimes. Because then you end up needing it at some point. So like you kind of yeah. have to have it. Yeah, that's why I did it before. Yeah. But now they're coming out with like these smaller, smaller cameras and stuff like that. Yeah, I, It's funny because I went from a very small camera to a very big camera. Yeah. So it's kind of like heavy. But yeah, as things kind of get more compact, then... Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to uh, head back to the Airbnb. Um, so that's it for me. I'm going to uh, publish a video within like probably half an hour. So look out for that. It'll be on the main channel. But uh, yeah, look out for a lot of cool content here out in Asia, here in Taiwan. Uh, going to be doing a lot of cool stuff. Um, and Steve is about to start his OnlyFans. Oh. So if you, yeah, he's yeah, just he learning this. That. Yeah, All he right. didn't know that he's doing this, but he's gonna have an OnlyFans soon, okay. where he's gonna be taking pictures of his third nipple. Ooh, <laughs> it's a secret. Oh. It's a secret. <laughs> I'm just joking. As far as I know, Steve does not have a third nipple. Um, but yeah, no, no. There's there will be no OnlyFans. Um, well, maybe I will start an OnlyFans and then just post a bunch of pictures of fans. Because yeah. it'll just only be fans. Right. Or maybe I'll post pictures of my fans. Oh, yeah, so it's just only fans. Yeah, exactly. So it's just only fans. I like it, I like it. Right? Not a bad like idea. It. But, Innovation uh, right there. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you guys in a bit on the main channel. Um, take care. Bye-bye.